This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, we hope you're doing wonderfully well. Today we are in our beloved free C-130 Hercules and we're going to be dropping, I'm not going to lie, this is probably the most highly awaited DCS video of the year. We're going to be dropping the Moab, M-O-A-B. What does that stand for, gaming? Mother of all bombs. You got damn right. Uh, hit us with some figures, size, uh, weight and stuff like that. Figures. All right, so the MOAB was designed by the United States Air Force as an intimidation weapon. Uh, so if they're going to go big, they're going to go they're going to go big. They weigh 18,000 pounds of explosives big, and the whole thing weighs 21,600 pounds. Uh, it's 30 feet long in freedom units, or 9.1 meters. It's, it's big, and it was only ever used once. Yeah. Uh, it was used in Afghanistan uh, April 13th, 2017 against an airstrike um, against a province, like a tunnel system against ISIS and it got uh, let's see, 94 confirmed kills Wow, one bomb It must yeah, have destroyed the whole cave and, okay, They probably just, it imploded and they got all buried alive mm -hmm. John. So and other, ever since then, we've never had to use it again. It's there as an intimidation weapon. Roger. And it is actually designed to be dropped out of a C-130 Hercules. Roger. I'm being told that the real one is GPS guided. It's guided. Ours is not because, obviously, ours is a free module. We don't have that capacity at the moment. Uh, so we're going to drop it by eye. And if you're now looking at the size of it, oh, you know what we should do? Uh, we should take a picture of it next to an F-16. I think that'll be awesome. We'll do that later. Yeah. Okay, mine's loaded. I'm just putting my gate up. Sorry, I am. ramp. Whoops. Hey viewers, we're now inside the Hercules. Look at the size of that absolute beauty. That's a whole lot of freedom. But there is actually some space. I reckon we could fit a couple of Humvees as well as Moab. Uh, so since it's in the uh, middle, uh, the cargo spot, you could you could fit paratroopers in the front so you could drop the moab and then turn back around once it explodes drop some troops there well jump and in terms of buttons there was basically nothing to learn to use apart from cargo ramp door open and either deploy all cargo or deploy the mid cargo gaming are you ready to take off i am f2ing there's my beautiful looking moab got loaded up now Ali. I like how it's all modelled on multiplayer, so I can see yours going in. <laughs> so I've, I've been around for quite a, quite a few years over DCS, and I've seen a lot of stuff come and go. Um, it, we should really use our platform at this point to say this is this is, module's been updated so well, bugs have been sorted so quickly, and everything's just going so quickly on it. The Moab was requested, and it was someone created the model, sent it to Anubis, and did all the work, and it was done in about a week. Yeah, well, I think it's about time we push Mr. Anubis. I'm just going to assume he's not the kind of guy that wants to talk to me, so I'll just speak from my platform, um, which is that I think it's about time that uh, he thought about making it into a professional model. There's only... Th and we all like three things, don't we, gaming? I love three things. I don't like paying $80 per, for a module, but, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do it. However, I think it's about time Mr. Anubis thought about setting up a professional plan to get this as a professional paid mod. Now, the benefits are massive in that he can actually access to the things he needs to do that. Your T-pods, your systems, your radios, your navigation and stuff to take it further. So I think um, he should start having a good think about setting up a proper team, the guys around him that he needs, and maybe he will have to shed some things that he doesn't need, I don't know and think about pushing it to the next level. Any thoughts of that, Gaming? Um, I know people have been asking him about that. I don't know his exact stance. I'll ask some of his uh, companions around him. Um, but I think some of the problems were he was worried about some political stuff with his module towards ED, but I'll be more than happy to ask him and see what response we get back. Roger, and feel free to contact me. I have. You know, limited to sway, but I can do things. So, yep. you know, we're all here to support you at the end of the day. Absolutely, and uh, you know, I'm just happy that the community is taking so well to this uh, this mod and um, how quickly this has been updated, fixed, working, and all uh, the the number of added stuff to it is just fantastic. Yeah. And with a complete rework of the EFM coming out on the next update. 
Okay, I'm going to Faps 1, yep, so we'll keep pushing, yep. keep pushing him, see if we can get uh, more more progress on that. Okay, gaming, Supercap, I believe, is ready. All right, so, uh, I'm just triple checking all my stuff. Okay, perfect. Whoops, all right, um, brakes on, spooling up. Don't forget your hydro pump. The, yes, sir. Cap, HD, HP ready. All right, and three, two, one, release. And Toga. Ow. Okay. And there's V1 and Rotate. Gear up. Flaps up. Too low flap. Gear up. Try and get some altitude here, real quick, since we're just going right up, up over yonder. Climbing at 150 knots is what I'm shooting for. We're at a 22,000 pound bomb, and we're just going straight up. It's friggin' awesome. <laughs> what a beast! I'm gonna level out around 2,000. Watch out, got to think about splash damage as well for this bomb. I mean, it's, uh, it's a 22,000 pound bomb at the end of the day. Yes, sir. Either of us can aim it on the runway. Yeah, that's the problem. No aiming mechanism at the moment, obviously, for obvious reasons. Okay, my bomb is all ready to go, basically. So let's just get try and get the timing right. Yeah, I um, may have forgot to turn Toga off. Oopsie, who's a B-Fingers? Uh, you, you're the B-Fingers gaming. Oh yeah, most definitely. Tell me when you're about to drop and I'll come and watch you because you're a little bit ahead of me. Yes, sir. Woo! Where you go, big baby! And... Out goes mine! You're going to hit it. Look at all those wonderfully placed test vehicles, which are of course unmanned because we would not do any anything inhumane. We would Never. not do that. That's amazing! Oh, there's, there's and... Some bunkers. <gasps> oh! Oh, Don's the visage. Splash, Splash damage. Ouch. Oh, he's turning into the bomb. Oh, look at my one. It's just as good. Splash not as good, oh, but it does matter. They're all matter. coming into it. That's a shame. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go around for BDA. Well, I would do, but I managed to crash my Hercules. That doesn't matter, gaming. Right. So that, if you absolutely have to destroy an entire airbase... Take Moab. Plus, you don't have the um, restrictions of the nuke that you do in game. Look, no one knows it. What, I wonder what, like, up to what units can be, like, you know, is it is it in a bunker buster? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Yeah, I'd love to use it in a mission and just put it on top of a, a base or something to see the whole base go up. Right. right. Anyway, gaming, people want to get on with their useful lives. Anything you want yes. to add to Moab? Uh, thanks. Hope you enjoyed that and see you later.